obviously the game out of, out of hand at that point, and Mike made the decision. Uh, you, how did he, I guess, go through that with you? Uh, he just came and talked to me, um, you know, before the last series I was in, and uh, told me if they scored that you know the game was out of hand and there was no way we could win it, so he's going to pull me out. Um, so I got one extra series when they missed that field goal, and then uh, after that, uh, you know, they just pulled me out of the game, and you know, really at that point, he just didn't want to risk any injury. Uh, the, the latter part of that game, that, that fourth quarter, uh, when the game was out of hand. Obviously, you want to finish the game and you want to be playing better, have the chance to pull your way back. How did you view that in your mind and how did you come to terms with it? Uh, it's tough, but, um, you know, I understood. And, you know, you don't fight that. And, um, you know, as a competitor, you don't care what, what's going on in the field, what the score is of the game. You want to finish the game with your guys. And uh, that was tough, but, um, you know, I understood. And, you know, you still sit there and you have to, um, you know, do everything you can to help Kirk uh, out there and to perform and move the ball and, and score. And, uh, you know, I thought I'd, I'd try to do that effectively. Is there any doubt in your mind that next week you are the starting quarterback? No, that's not an issue. What, your second year in the league, what on earth does it feel like to have all these stories about your personality, about your relationship with the owner and the coaches, to have all this stuff around you and around your personality, your character? What is it like to sift your way through that and try to figure um, out how to act? I mean, I just don't. It's not what the game's about, you know. Um, constantly I come to these press conferences and I get asked every question about non-football things as opposed to football. So... Um, it's just not the way the game should be going, and you know when you're sitting at three and ten, you you partially understand some of it, but um, at the end of the day, uh, there's other questions that need to be asked and other things that we have to do, and one of them is playing better. Um, you know, none of us played good today. I didn't play well. We all have to play better. I have to play better, um, and they they outplayed us today. And you know, there's no there's no other way around that. The game got out of hand uh, right from the get go, and that was uh, hard to to deal with. There was a report right before, shortly before the game, that Mike had considered not coming back this year because he was upset about your relationship with Dan. Had you heard about that, and what was your response to that? I didn't hear about it, and um, you know, I hope no one heard about it because I wouldn't want that to be, um, you know, what happened. Not on the field today. Uh, I didn't know about it. Still don't know about it, and uh, I'm just, you know, trying to deal with what we got to deal with right now. Thinking about this game, getting ready to watch the film, and uh, getting ready for Atlanta. Every week there is, it seems like, a new report that comes out pregame for you guys. Is that getting old, and how, how does, why do you think that keeps happening? Uh, it is old, but, I mean, I don't know. It's been the past couple games. I don't know. Is it calculated? I don't know what it is. But, like I said, I still don't know what the report was, and i um, not even going to worry about it. First half, what was it that was going wrong out there? Uh, just shooting ourselves in the foot uh, too often. Um, uh, whether there's a bad pass, um, you know, a drop ball here or there, uh, you just missed assignments, and that's that's the tough part about it. It's all fixable, and uh, we know that it's not. Yeah, they played well, um, but it's not anything that, that necessarily they're doing. It's what we're doing to ourselves, and um, we just got to get it right. We we can't keep going out there and and uh, not getting it right and then come up here and say, hey, we got to get it right. I know it gets old, but at the end of the day, something's got to change, and we need to we need to get it right. Robert, Mike took full responsibility for not having you guys prepared today. Is there anything different from a preparation standpoint when you go out there every day for practice? Is there anything different this year as opposed to maybe last year? Um, I mean, I, yeah, but I mean, there's nothing that, that I can say up here about any of that stuff. It's just we have to win football games, and we got to do – what we have to do, no matter what the conditions are on the field, no matter who we're facing, and uh, collectively, we just haven't done that this year. You the stories that come out every week. Has it been difficult navigating, I guess, the social aspects of being in the NFL and all that? No, I mean, it's, it's not, and, you know, it's, it's not like that. Uh, it certainly wasn't like that last year, even when we were sitting at 3-6. and six. So I don't know what's going on this year. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy, but uh, at the same time, I, don't, I know I don't see any of that stuff before the game, and I don't know if the other players do or not. I can only speak for myself in that sense, but 
um, it, it certainly didn't affect you know what I was doing out there on the field. And um, like I said, I hope it didn't affect anybody else. Robert, two-parter, what happened on the interception of Derek Johnson? And also, how would you assess your footing? Because the middle of the field obviously was pretty chewed up. Yeah, I mean, it was just like the you know the snow, sleet, hell, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, pretty damaged the field pretty good. Um, the, the the interception, DJ made a good play. Um, just can't throw that ball. And uh, you know, aside from that, um, just too many uh, too many missed opportunities. Robert, has Mike ever given you any indication that he was willing to or wanted to walk away after last season for any reason? Uh, no. <laughs> Yeah, since you're going to see it, if you haven't seen it yet, you'll see it. Do you feel that you've gotten special treatment from Dan, his security guards, limos for your wife to games, whatever? I'm not going to talk about that stuff, guys, and it's just not its not even relevant to the football game. It's not relevant to my life, which is my answer to that, and uh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, Robert, you're obviously just frustrated by all the distractions. Why do you think we are always questioning you about your relationship with Coach? Why do you think? so many people are sort of criticizing it. What do you think that maybe you're doing wrong or maybe not expressing enough? I don't know. And, um, I'm getting frustrated now, too, and trying to you know hold everything back. But you know it's just um, some things are allowed to happen. And we can cut a lot of this stuff out. And uh, it's not being cut out. So I don't know what else I can do about that. Um, you know, I come to work every day. I work with those guys every day. And I'll, fight, I'll go to war with them every day. And um, yeah, just it's uh, very unfortunate, and that's all I can say about it at this time. And that's all I will say. You know, we'll be ready for Atlanta. Uh, it's still a good football team, no matter what their record is. And uh, what we have to do is play hard these last three games. Thanks, Robert. Thanks, guys.